And here's the demo. I'm going to plug in the Pico into this power bank charger and it says press to start game night timer. Excellent. And it's starting to count down. Four seconds and time is up. Okay, I'll press the button again and it starts the next player's turn. And let's say I don't need that much time. I can just hit the button, flip it back to the first player. And once again, time is up. Do your family or friends take forever when it's their turn on game night? I'm on a mission to end slow game nights, and that's why I created the Game Night Timer, a DIY one button game turn timer. Press the button, your turn ends, and the next player's countdown starts. I've already done this project with a Raspberry Pi, some LEDs, a buzzer, a button, a Bluetooth speaker, and an LCD. If you missed those videos, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check them out. In this episode, we're building the Raspberry Pi Pico version of the timer using LEDs for green, yellow, and red status, a buzzer to signal time out, and a 16 by 2 LCD so you can see exactly how many seconds are left. This build also comes with a custom 3D printed case to keep everything neat and I'll show you exactly how to set up so it runs automatically on startup, ready to go as soon as you power it on. I've also done this project with this AIY voice kit and if you're watching this in 2025, stay tuned until the very end because I'm giving away three AIY voice kits. Now let's get started. The materials you'll need for this project include, I'm going to use a Raspberry Pi 4, but really you could use almost any computer for this, but this is a Raspberry Pi project, so using a Raspberry Pi 4, I have my Raspberry Pi Pico here. This is the original Raspberry Pi Pico, and I did solder on all of the pins so it fits it nicely into my breadboard. You will need a breadboard. I do have a piezo buzzer here. I have three LEDs, red, yellow, green. I have three resistors, 330 ohm resistors as well. I've got my button. I have an LCD screen, 16 by two. Now for your Pico, it probably came with this, but hopefully you have a micro USB data cable. So not every single micro USB cable is gonna work with this. You can get this to auto boot. You can power it off of just this power bank and I can power this Pico and the LCD screen and everything when we get done with this project just off a power bank. And those are the items you'll need for this project. Now I'm gonna start off my project here by plugging in my Pico into my Raspberry Pi. So I'll plug in this end into the Raspberry Pi. And then to plug in the Pico, what you wanna do is you wanna hold down this boot cell button and then plug in your micro USB into the Raspberry Pi. Excellent, now let's get started. Now I'm over here on my Raspberry Pi desktop and when we held down the boot cell button and plugged in our Pico, it automatically realizes, hey, there is something plugged in and it asks to open the file manager. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna go over and open my internet browser and I'm gonna go to github.com, Caroline Dunn, Game Night Timer, Pico. And I will link this in the description below. And I have the instructions here. The next thing you wanna do is download a file specific to your Raspberry Pi Pico. And I've linked that in my GitHub here. Um, download your MicroPython UF2 file from your Pico from this page. So let's open this up in a new tab. And there are four different versions of the Pico. I'm using the original Pico, so I'm gonna click on this button and I've downloaded the file into downloads. So let's go over into my file manager and let's go to downloads. I'm gonna to go to home, admin, and I'm gonna to go to downloads. And now all I have to do is drag and drop this file I just downloaded onto my Pico. And while we're over here, we should do step one of my GitHub as well. Let's open up a terminal. We're going to do a sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Copy and paste and I hit enter. 
And while I'm at it, I'm just going to get ready to copy and paste the git clone command of this repository here. Everything's up to date on my Raspberry Pi. Right click and paste and we're going to get clone my repository. Hit enter. Excellent. It has been copied. Now let's go over to Thani. So hit the Raspberry Pi, mouse over to programming and click on Thani. And now over on Thani, what I want to do is I want to hit MicroPython and I want to make sure I'm on my Raspberry Pi Pico. Hit these three bars and hit refresh and there's nothing on my Pico right now. Now I'm going to, on my computer, I'm going to go to game night timer dash Pico. This is the repository I just copied and I can see all of my programs here. So I'm going to take the first four and I'm going to right click upload to and that uploads it to my Pico. And there it goes on my lovely GitHub repository here. I do have the wiring diagram wired up my LEDs through a 330 ohm resistor. Green LED went to GPIO 16, yellow 17, and red 18. And that's how I have this wired up. And it is available on my GitHub repository. I can open this up just a little bit bigger here on the wiring diagram, which is also available on this GitHub page. So let's start with LEDs. I'm going to double click 1-LEDs. Dot py and let's run this file one dash leds dot py hit run and as you can see it is cycling through each of the leds green yellow red green yellow red okay great that means my leds are wired up properly if your leds don't work then you want to check your wiring let's go back over into thani and i'm going to hit these three bars and i'm going to hit refresh now we want to open buzzer and we want to make sure our buzzer is wired up properly. So let's go back over to our wiring diagram and the buzzer should be wired to GPIO 13, which is over here. Uh, as you can see on my desktop record, let's go over back to Thani. We've got our buzzer. I'm going to hit the play button and yes, the buzzer is working. And I suggest hitting the stop button when it is not going off. Otherwise the buzzer will keep on going off and that will be bad. Let's now check our button. Let's see if the button is working. The button should be wired to GPIO 14. And actually there's a version where you can do two buttons. I only like doing one button. So GPIO 14, that's how my button is wired up. And let's go over back into Thani and I'm going to hit these three bars. Hit refresh because I want to open things up from my Pico. Double click on button. That opens up my button.py. Hit play. Uh, it says press the button. I press the button and that's what's expected to happen. There it is. And that is how that program works. And I'm going to hit the stop button. At this point, and I'm going to refresh this again, you have a working project with just the LEDs. So now I'm going to hit timer LEDs. I'm going to right click and I'm going to upload to my Pico. I'm going to double click timer dash LEDs. I'm going to hit the play button and it says Pico game timer ready. Press button to start player one. And let's press the button. And there goes the timer. Now for the purposes of this video, I made the turns 10 seconds, but you probably want to change that. And you can change that right here in the config. The turn is 10 seconds. Yellow starts your warning at four seconds and you warn red at two seconds. Probably want to change this to at least a minute or so and then change everything else accordingly. So let's try that again. See the green. Then it goes into yellow. Now if you want to start the next turn, press the button and it goes right to green. So you can always start the next turn whenever you want to. And then uh, in 10 seconds, it will go back into red. And that ends your turn. Okay, excellent. That works. Perfect. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to check out this LCD and see if we can get this LCD work. Let's go back over to my wiring diagram. I have wired up my LCD screen. SDA is wired up to GPIO zero. SCL is wired up to one. I've got my power in the three volt in the top right here and then ground to ground. So I'm going to double click on four dash LCD on my Pico. So I've got four dash LCD. I'm going to hit run and you can see the message across my LCD screen. That means my LCD is wired up properly, working properly. I'm going to hit stop. We've got timer dash LCD and we can copy that over to our Pico. 
I'm going to right click timer dash LCD. I'm going to upload to the Pico. And now I see timer dash LCD down here in the Pico. Double click on that. And I can see it right here, timer dash LCD. And I'm going to hit play and it's ready to go. And there it goes. And now I'm going to hit the button again and it just keeps on going. You can always restart it at any point. It works great. I'm going to hit the stop button. Now I'm going to show you how to make it automatically go into this state every single time. Once again, I'm going to hit these three buttons over here, refresh, three lines. All right, now I've got timer dash LCD. I want, I've got that working. I want it to always go into that state every time I turn on this Pico without it being connected to the Raspberry Pi. I want to connect it to my power source, which can be a power bank. And I'm going to hit file. I'm going to hit save as. I want to save it to my Pico. I'm going to call it main.py. Hit OK. And now we've got main.py. I'm going to close out of this Thani here. I'm going to unplug from the Raspberry Pi. And instead, I'm going to plug into this power bank. And now you can see, press start the game night timer. And I'm going to hit the button. And there it goes. It starts working just on my power bank. And it starts working on boot. And there it goes. Press the button again. Time is up. Okay. And now I'm player two. And I can restart this anytime I want. And now it works just fine with a power bank. And I just want to take a minute to show you how this is done. This is done with a Pico. It is powered by a power bank charger. This is a micro USB cable. And uh, I have uh, 3D printed this case. And I will leave the link in the description. And the way it goes is there is a Pico here, fits right in to this case, and the LCD screen fits right in, and I've got my three LEDs, my piezo buzzer, and this is a button, and I just 3D printed a button on top of it just to make it bigger. And that's how uh, this project is put together in a nice case. And that's the Raspberry Pi Pico Game Night Timer with LEDs, an LCD, a piezo buzzer, and a 3D printed case running automatically on startup so you're always ready for game night. One button flips turns, the LEDs warn you when time's almost up, the buzzer ends your turn, and the LCD keeps track of players and time remaining. In the next video, we'll continue experimenting with new hardware to give you even more ways to build your own DIY game night timer. Be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. If you're watching this video in 2025, I'm giving away three AIY voice kit version one, one in September, October, and November. The Raspberry Pi 3 is required but not included, and the giveaway is US only. To enter, comment on this video on the game your family or friends take too long to play, and fill out the entry form linked in the description. I'll be announcing the winners live on my channel. Thanks for watching, and may your game nights be faster and a whole lot more fun.